Hi, my name is Patty, and I'd like to share with you um, my ministry story um, here at Grace. In 2008, God called my husband and I to start a prison ministry, and way out of our comfort zone, I will tell you that. It's not something that we had planned on doing, but when God calls you, the one thing that we have found out is He equips you. We have found men in, in the prison that just are totally committed to Him, and it's a joy to be able to partner with them because that's really what we do when we go out there is we bring new songs, um, help teach, um, help equip their church as they're raising up their church. Um, one of the other things that we've done that has been so cool is um, we were able to, to be a part of the baptisms out there. My husband Barry was able to step up and baptize the guys. And it's very exciting when it happens here, you know, in, in grace. But when you're in prison, um, it means something totally different because there are so many different gangs and, and, and groups and stuff that guys can literally get beat up and put in the hospital um, for sharing their faith or for stepping out and doing something like that or trying to, you know, live a better life. The first time we had the baptisms, I tell you what, the tears, you know, you could hardly uh, keep that back because it was just so special that these guys would make a stand for Jesus and um, just, you know, proclaim Him. And so that's what we're trying to do again, is just to uplift them and encourage them and be a part of what's happening out there. Hi, my name's Clinton Desern, and I've been here about two years. Through this time when I was in uh, prison, Grace Community Church had a ministry that came up to our facility and we praised and worshiped with them. It's so encouraging to us that we would have some someone like Grace to come up uh, to uh, bring the word, to, to fellowship, to hear us, and for us to be able to uh, hear them was great. And it's so important that groups like this to encourage us in there um, because we go through times in prison where it'd be dark places and a lot of things going on that can really easily uh, take us out of focus with the Lord. How can I be in position for God to use me more when I get out of here? Because I know that the work has just begun. So uh, I got more into reading, more into fellowshipping, more into encouraging other people to show them what God has done in my life so that they would be uh, encouraged to know that God's going to do the same thing in their life. I have a family that said that they were fellowshipping at a church around the corner from the house on the outside while I was in there and they said basically that uh, the church was called Grace that they were attending so I asked my uh, my kids mother that is this is this the grace and could you ask them if they have a ministry there because I wanted to know if it was the same grace I didn't get a chance to really uh, find out if they were from the same part of town where my kids were living uh, so they said, yeah, this is the same grace. And when I found that out, I knew right then and there that this was the church for me. This is where I was supposed to be. And through the transformation of getting out and to coming home, uh, Grace has welcomed me with open arms. They've been there for me. Uh, they've also been there for my kids. My kids love the church. Uh, I couldn't uh, trade it for anything in the world to be here. At the end of this month here, I'm looking forward and I'm so happy and I'm just excited about the next part of my life and that's the baptism. It's going to be great and um, right now that's one thing that I've been wanting to do for almost five years and what a better place. Where, where, could, where could I go else than Grace to do this with a family with open arms? Thank you.